What's going on guys? Dane here and welcome to Reblessed's Way and this is a brand new hero collector RPG that just dropped on the mobile marketplace in early access. This is like day two right now uh, and this is wild for me. I am filled with so much nostalgia playing this game and some of you guys know why and most of you do not. This is actually the game that started my YouTube channel. Back in the day, December 9th, I was playing this game uh, w without uploading any videos. This is what I was playing and I thought maybe I could bring something to the table. Now I was playing from a third party download link. It was not available on the mobile marketplace. Uh, but I loved it. I was playing it and I knew that I could drop a dope guide on it to help people out because I'd been seeing people in game chat just just giving people horrible advice and I got the itch from dropping that first video to just create I was dropping two videos a day from then on and I could not stop and to this day I still haven't stopped uh, it's it's wild man this to this day is my favorite idle game that I've ever played and I'm so glad it's back in full force I'm so glad I can play it officially without any of that shady third-party nonsense and I'm so glad I can bring this game to you guys finally this is gonna be a wild one but let's talk about what the heck is going on in this game now as always the best way to kick off a hero collector is to show off the heroes we have so far and then jump into some combat and we will be doing a big summon session for the grand return man we're doing a big summon session we are definitely getting some ssrs today and i can't wait now this is the maid uh this is who you're gonna get first this is your uh, initial character she's with you throughout the entire story and yes you can put costumes on all these characters to make them look unique and i believe the costumes are actually new which is sick. So we got the maid in the house. You're going to be rocking out with her. We got uh, Lisa in the house. She's like a bold dragon girl, which is pretty sick. And they all have a uh, main attack that does varying damage and uh, varying target selection which e with each main attack. And they each have a separate skill that you charge up, you pop, and it does something completely unique. And a lot of the depth comes from target selection with your auto attacks on top of what their skill does for you and we're actually going to put a little equipment on this girl to keep her from being completely useless and let's move on with our day to some combat man man you already saw right off the bat the artwork for these characters is phenomenal but what do they look like in game huh what do they look like in game just as freaking good look how detailed this art is these characters look beautiful in game and out of game they're smaller in game but they're just as detailed and this is the most detailed anime aesthetic idol game i've ever played to this day and they have stuck with it throughout it is gorgeous the combat is so flashy and yes it's an idol game but i'm okay with that i think everyone should have an idol game in their collection at the end of the day like if you're an avid mobile player I think you need a mobile or idle mobile game in your collection to have something to play when you don't want to just like strategize 24 7 like we're out here playing out to world we're out here playing uh, cocoons we're out here playing like all these like manual gameplay games you want an idle game in your collection but it's gonna have so much content for you that you can definitely spend hours playing this game absolutely which is a beautiful now that's combat and what's actually going on in combat is the skills and the, the target selection. And you also have these leader skills. Uh, the leader skills are customizable, they're upgradable, and they're interchangeable. And there's a ton of them. And there's a ton of way to get them as well. Uh, this is the basic one you're going to start with. You got the transistor sword. It does an AoE. I've not upgraded these very much yet, so you're not seeing a whole lot of damage out of them. But that one does uh, damage to the front row enemies, all of them. And then my second leader skill does damage to all enemies, and it's massive. And look how beautiful this animation is. Everything's flashy. Everything is production value through and through. And it really culminates into a game that, yes, it's idle, which some people get turned off by, some people love. And I, I think there's a place for all kinds of games in the mobile marketplace. But the fact that it's fun to collect these units, the fact that the upgrade systems are dope, the fact that the combat is this entertaining to watch is just it, it makes for it makes for an experience on top of the death from the skills the classes the faction bonuses the target selection it culminates into a game that'll appeal to a lot more people than just casual gamers casual gamers will love this deep strategy 
players will find something to love here as well. Now, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other modes going on. First of all, of course, there's PvP in the game, and you can absolutely just choose the target that you want to take on. You can dive on in, and you can get some crazy, crazy fights in. Let's see what this, this guy's dropping in an SSR over here. She got an axe behind her, but she's not- oh, she is wielding it. Okay, I got confused. She's crazy looking. She's like a devil girl. What's she gonna do? He doesn't have her upgraded, so we actually have a really good chance. Let's go ahead and rock out with this and see what kind of damage it does to his fools. It one-shot everybody. He needs to do some upgrading. But, uh, yeah, there is PvP in the game if you are interested, which I'm a fan of. And it gives you a massive selection of who you want to target next. And if you can't take on anyone from that selection, you can refresh or you can just uh, farm the people that are lower than you and still get your honor rewards without having to stress uh, like the competitive way so competitive players are gonna be able to grind all the way up in PvP and casual players are gonna be able to get their currency for the shops and the shops are dope in this game now pursuit monster over here is a little strange this is actually a new one uh, all you do is you whack away at this fool and you whack away at the next fool and you spend this green energy which is exclusive to this mode you don't use it anywhere else this is a very casual way to get rewards and get stuff for the shop However, you also got this man in the house, and you gotta fight him, and we'll see if we can take him on right now. Oh my goodness, they ugly. Look at the character designs. The enemy designs are so creative. It's like a wooden mushroom, like ethereal, like plague mushroom with an eyeball. Like, all the enemies are sick. All the heroines are sick. And the art design, look at the area we're fighting in. You're just in for eye candy every second of the way in this game man and that's something more idle games need like if we're playing an idle game at least make it fun to watch man you know what i'm talking about make it fun to watch and give us depth for people that want to progress like the strategic way and give us give casual players a reason to play it as well now we can go in here we can collect our rewards what do we got out of this chest we got skill books we got paid currency and we got a lot of these dragon stones and in the pursuit shop you can actually spend them on your active skills which is beautiful but there's way more going on than mini games aren't there there's way more going on than mini games so let's go back to explore you got the tower of trial this is also sick you take on each one one by one and you choose the challenge level that you want to take on and you challenge the floor and this is the endless tower mode each floor has three enemies to fight each one of the enemies becomes more and more difficult and depending how many stars you accrued by choosing your difficulty uh, for instance you can get nine stars per floor if you three star each one of them but if you go for the three star you're going against a harder opponent if you get all nine you're gonna have a higher chance of getting crazier buffs for the next floor if you only get six you're gonna have a lower chance of getting crazy a better chance of getting just mid-tier buffs and if you get all one stars or whatever you know you just the amount of stars you collected is going to change the 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 profit on in the long run so you want to take on as many of the hardest fights you can take on per floor if you can get away with it it'll make you much stronger on the next floor and it'll get you better and better rewards so we're going to blow through this floor and we're going to talk about the rewards that we collect and we're going to talk about all the other game modes going on so we can actually get these crazy buffs here we can get hp plus nine percent we can get a uh, hit plus three percent and it, ch it costs our stars man it costs our stars we're going to get a crazy buff right here and uh we're on our way so we're going to go ahead and equip shop and you can get anything that you're getting from here you can spend on gear you can spend on gear and yes there's sr equipment yes there's legendary to ssr yes there's benefits on top of that where you can get more stuff than just gear out of this shop and every single shop is amazing the item shop is the paid currency shop it's all cheap as dirt the heroin shop cheap as dirt you can get any unit you want out of this the honor shop cheap as dirt you can get any unit you want out of this pursuit shop cheap as dirt you can get upgrades for any of the the active skills that you want guild shop cheap as dirt you can get anything you want resource wise for your upgrades you just you seen a theme here it's amazing and you also have a pity system i've done one 10 pull and i have 11 of these if i do it looks like if i do five more i'm gonna get any ssr faction ticket that i want this game cares about you, bro, and that is something I need to talk about. Now, let's go ahead and move on to some more content real quick. We got uh, more to do and explore than just that. Let's go ahead and do our daily dungeon, 
And uh, this is what I'm talking about. You only get one attempt per floor. You got gold, you got XP, you got enhancement stones, which are useful in a lot of different ways. You got, I don't even know what this currency is. I don't know what this currency is. I don't know what this currency is. I don't know if that's new if or if I've just forgotten. But at the end of the day, they're level locked, but you can dive in, you can do a fight, you can get your beautiful, beautiful rewards. There's also City War, which I'll unlock at the next level. Uh, it's the dispatch mode. It's where you dispatch your units to get you passive income, and uh, that's where the idle feature is in itself. Uh, so that you just dispatch whoever you want. Over time, they'll collect stuff for you. Simple as that. Rob Treasure is your gear dungeon, which is coming at level 34. Uh, so you fight varying bosses, varying dungeons, all that to get your gear grinds. Boss challenge as well will get you materials for all kinds of stuff and gear. And their boss fights, which is sick. You got martial competition, which is brand new to the game. I don't know what it is, but all masters fight for the peak. It kind of sounds like tryhard PvP. You got beauty contest in the house, which I don't know what this could possibly be. Improve your charm by having more fans. I have no idea, man. Either way, Elf's Trial, where you go through the labyrinth mode to try and get the crazy, crazy loot out of it. And I love a labyrinth mode. And you got beast area where you fight the crazy beasts, which is a new system to get yourself a beast unlocked. Now, beasts were in the game in a different capacity before, but when I was playing, they were broken and you couldn't actually see them in game when you were using them. So I'm excited to see that fixed. I'm excited to see what they've added. I'm excited to see how they actually work. Can't wait. Can't wait. What else is going on besides that? Well, there's guilds. I did start a guild. Of course I started a guild. This is the game that I came from. And I'll say it right now, when I was playing before, I was the only person in the guild and I was getting crazy benefits out of being the only person in the guild. So if you want to get in on a game that has amazing guild functionality and you can rely on yourself to get your rewards while working together, this guild system is dope. Now the guild wars is coming once we hit guild level four. Guild Wars were not in the game when I was playing, so I cannot wait to see what the heck that is. Guild Dungeons were, however, and this is sick. You choose a unit you want to fight, and everyone is fighting together to take these units on. But you don't have to co-op it out. You just choose whichever one you want to attack. You click challenge. You get 10 challenges a day to spread around to whoever the heck you want to kill. And you do as much damage as you possibly can to these units. And once they're dead, everyone gets a reward. If you kill everyone on the floor, you permanently move on to the next area. And you will, every single day that it resets, you will be in that next area until you clear it. So you work together to get crazy rewards out of fighting these crazy, crazy monsters. And they get more and more insane as you go. You don't have to kill them. Just do as much damage as you can, baby. And that's all you can do, man. It is a dope time it is a dope time so we're gonna go ahead and big old flash out we're gonna see how much dps we can get off how many turns is available to us it is a five turn fight so we're actually gonna skip it and there is a skip function if you don't got the time to finish it out which is beautiful in an idle game because like at the end of the day if you don't have the time to be on here 24 7 which you honestly might you can go ahead and you can do that and there is a guild energy as well uh there's a guild shop which we've talked about a little bit uh there is the guild hall where all your members be hanging out they be getting all kinds of contribution uh you know uh, achievements for you these are the goals that your guild has together you can uh, contribute to your guild you can see who's in it oh we already got people in here what the heck okay guys shoot shoot me a comment with your or or a dm in here a friend request whatever you got to do let me know who you are and that you want in on the guild because people are joining quick and i will kick someone that has no idea what the heck is going on that doesn't care about the community itself and you are in bro you are in i'm glad to see this game is already insanely active it deserves it man uh you got part-time job in the house which is a wild one you literally send your units out to do part-time jobs for the guilds in a secondary idol function which is hilarious and i have no idea what invader challenge is but i can't wait to unlock that there is so much content in this game what the heck is going on you were you were expecting oh it's idle and you get as far as you can and you get passive upgrades like no it is there's a lot to do in this game, man. There's a lot to do in this game. Uh, let's talk about the upgrade system real quick and dive into these summons, man. Uh, I, I mean, I'm going to be making a series on this game at the end. How can I not make a series on this one? You know what I mean? This is the game that started the channel, and now I can legally make videos on it. 
which is amazing. So we're going to go ahead and cultivate. We're going to go ahead and uh, talk about the cultivation system in general. First of all, just promote. Once you get to a specific level, which we're actually going to have to upgrade our uh, account level. Account level to get this girl up to the next level. But you collect this ore, and you put it in and click promote, and you use your evolution stones for that. And you, uh, you put it in, and you are upgraded to a new rank. You get better stats, all that. And there's also star up, where you bring your beautiful beautiful shards in to star them up and of course their base stats are going to go up dramatically bro dramatically like this is not a, like a little bit of an upgrade and the promotion is not a little bit of an upgrade either and if you want to get these things all you got to do is click sweep bro just click sweep it'll auto sweep it for you if you want to if you run out of energy it does not matter you can just go ahead and use one of your many many stamina potions there's a billion ways to get them and they are the best bang for your buck if you're buying these with your diamonds i promise you and all you gotta do is auto farm it'll get them for you and you just quick equip all spend your evolution stones wham bam you are out of here and if you want to level them up all you gotta do is click the auto level up button it'll spend your potions and bam they are leveled up oh my god it's so simple to upgrade your units in an idle game that's what you're looking for now on top of that there's gear and all you gotta do is you got you just click on a piece of gear click replace and it'll see if there's a better one for you that's all there is to it and click here click replace and bam we can see all the crazy stuff going on in here we're gonna put it on an arcane hood why not and we can also enhance it as well so we click enhance wham bam we got more levels and all it takes is gold and you can see you're gonna be piling gold in this game and that was true after like three weeks of playing in uh, the previous version i never ran out of gold bro uh there's also refine which i have not unlocked yet where you can uh upgrade the stats in general with refine on top of the enhancement stats which is beautiful there's also set bonuses for gear that'll give you bonuses depending on what the set is all beautiful stuff now on top of that there's a little more going on in cultivate where you can do a or in yeah you can cultivate which what cultivate is is uh wait wait which one is it? is it potential or is it cultivate uh, i think cultivate is where you bring your uh, cultivation stones and you uh you re-roll your stats in a stat re-roll where you you put the stones in and you get a chance to get higher or lower for all of your stats and you can either save it or retry and retry and retry and when you get one that's all positive or mostly positive uh you save it and then you cultivate again and it goes from there and it'll either go up from there or down from there and you save it and you can really upgrade your stats rapidly that way and you can customize your stats and i don't actually know what potential is i'm unaware if that was in the game previously but that's what that is either way either way man i think it's time to jump in to these summons i mean what like god i'm so excited to see what we got man i'm so excited to see what we got let's go ahead and oh, oh we got 70 summons to do we also have tickets to do that are going to give us guaranteed ssrs and that looked pretty promising right there that was a lot of yellow now the number one thing i said in that how to spend your diamonds guide and by the way i'm not sure if that how to spend your diamonds guide uh, actually holds up anymore we got a full character she was an sr beautiful but you got nothing but a single shard for the majority of your pulls and every couple of 10 pulls you would get a character and it was usually sr so i told everyone stay away from spending diamonds on summons we're about to find out if that has changed. We already got an SR. I actually got two SRs on my first pull. Are SSRs available in this summon? I have no idea. Oh my god. They might have fixed the summoning system, bro. They might have fixed the summoning system. We got a healer on our team now all of a sudden. And her normal attack is a straight heal, which is the first time I've ever seen that in this game. I've never seen a normal attack that isn't an attack before. That's amazing for no reason. We got an SSR shard. Beautiful stuff. But man, we just got a full SSR. That's my first time pulling a full SSR character in this game. It, from, from like the previous experience I had when I was playing it. Never happened before. That is amazing. It looks like they might have fixed their rate. The fact that I got two full characters. One SR. One SSR. And my first 10 pull I got two SRs. It already looks like the draw rates are way better. And by the way, you're going to be getting a lot of shards. There's a million ways to get more shards in this game. So this is just gravy on the cake. Now, Carolina in the house, never going to use her. She's a rare character. No, I'm just kidding. Pure Explosion deals damage to three random heroines. Okay, she's an AoE unit. She's an AoE unit. Pretty slick. Pretty slick. Now, the dope part 
about rare units in this game is it's way easier to get their shards so you can star them up dramatically. This girl is adorable. She just wants to grow up to be a witch. Uh, she's a healer as well. We got two healers in the house. So we, we could do a very toxic comp, couldn't we? We could do a very toxic comp all of a sudden. Um, we could do turtle strats for days. Oh my god, let's go ahead and move on to the next summon. And, uh, my next summon session will in fact be on camera, guys. So, uh, pretty much any summons I do on this game, I'll just keep doing them on camera. As long as you guys are interested in in seeing them, uh, they will be uh, they will be put on the end of other videos, so they're not just gonna be straight summon videos because I don't like doing that. But yeah, you, you're you're gonna be seeing rates all the time. I love that girl right there. She was on my main squad originally. She was on my main squad, so if I can start working towards her shards, I'm a fan. Yes, you can unlock full characters with a couple of shards, and yes, you can start them up with the rest of them. Who is this? Why is she beautiful? Is She has to be new. I do not reckon- I don't remember anyone at the top level playing with this unit. She has to be new. Charve. Charve? Charve, I believe. Oh, low damage to all- and she has an AoE normal attack. What is happening? And a critical attack? There's a- what the heck is happening? She has a main crit skill and an AoE auto attack. What is happening, bro? They upped the rates. They fixed the rates. I wonder if they saw my video and saw that I told everyone to never summon ever. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, okay, she's adorable. Little uh, little forest ranger in the house. Chishima Baruri in the house. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Now, back in the day, it actually used to tell you who the voice actor was in the detail screen. I wonder if it still does. That's always dope to know. I, I like when they credit people that worked on the game outside of just the developers. You know what I mean? Not a lot of games do, but the games that do, I appreciate it, man. There's a, it takes a, it takes a village, man. It takes a village. Let's see. We got, we're getting shards for days. That's about the same as it was before, and it is still a single shard, which is a little painful. But at the end of the day, we're actually getting full characters. Which is brand new. Amelia is beautiful. She's like a bartender devil maid. Like, what the heck is that? What is that book? She is of the devil, and I'm here for it, man. I'm here for it. 56% uh, damage to enemy heroin in the rear. So she'll attack the rear unit, but she hits like a wet noodle. Deals damage to enemy heroines in the rear. 15% chance to reduce their SP by 2. Okay. So she nukes with her dart. Well, not really nukes, but she does good damage with her second skill. But it reduces their special points by two, which is beautiful. She kind of keeps people in the back line from being able to get their skills off. High utility, low damage. Big fan of that. And you're going to see this game has a lot of depth, and it had a lot of depth previously with the characters you're bringing to your team. Uh, as far as the gameplay goes, of course it's idle. It's an idle game. But you, you can do a lot with it, and you can pull a lot of wins out where you had no right winning with the right strategy for the right situation. Oh my god, okay, okay, I was a little scared for a second, I thought we got another full character. I can't really crack the code of when we get a full character and when we don't. But either way, we've gotten a lot of crazy stuff, we've gotten SRs, we've gotten SSRs, we still got tickets to burn, bro. We got, we got guaranteed SSR tickets to burn as well. Oh my god, we got another one. What is happening? Forty in the house, and she is adorable for no reason. Oh my god. Uh, big damage to enemy heroines. Heroines in the real, so she AoE nukes the three back enemies. Uh, and inflicts damage. I don't got time to read that whole thing, but she is, she is cool as heck. And I will be doing, I'll be looking at all these characters as we go. As we go, bro. Man, this is... Oh, this is going to be a long first impression, isn't it? I apologize if it's a long one. I, I didn't intend for it. <laughs> I did not intend for it. Come on, what do we got, man? What do we got? Ooh, beautiful, beautiful shards in the house. Oh my, she is gorgeous. She, she's like a genie, bro. She's like a genie. What the heck? Sarah in the house. She's a rare unit, but as you can see, even the rare units look better than the majority of these games, bro. As long as you like the anime art style. If you don't like anime art style, you're probably thinking it just looks like any other anime. If you do like anime art style, you're seeing the incredible difference between this game and any other anime art style game we've seen. I mean, this is beautiful stuff. We got Yama or Yama Yamagami, Yamagami Miyaba. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm butchering it. Uh, Karatha's gonna hop in my Discord and correct me. I apologize, Karatha. I didn't mean to let you down. <laughs> uh, normal attack. 
125% damage to a single enemy heroine. Light Wave Blossom. Don't got time to read all. Look how much depth there is on some of these skills. Like, look at this book they dropped on us. Like, that is beautiful. And there are faction bonuses as well, if you are curious. So putting more people of the same faction gives you bonuses. Putting more equipment of the same type on a single unit is going to get you bonuses. All that. And I think this is the last 10 pull we're doing before the SSR summons. Oh my goodness. What do we got? What do we got? Okay, she's adorable, but she is a rare. We're getting all these rare units, but we ain't worried about them, man. We ain't worried about them. Let's get some, uh, let's get some beautiful units. That is a cool looking dude. Or girl? I can't tell. Are there dudes in this game? This might be a waifu collector at the end of the day. I'm pretty sure it actually is. Which I'm cool with. I'm cool with. I played myself a waifu collector or two in my day. I played myself an all-male hero collector in my life back in the day. Yet this one is still my favorite and there's a big reason for it. Oh my goodness. Sylvie in the house, bro. Deal 125% physical damage to the single enemy with the lowest HP. She'll attack the person with the lowest health. And she has a crazy in-depth second skill. She's beautiful. What is happening? She looks like someone I know from an anime. She looks exactly like someone I remember. What the heck? Who is it? Guys, let me know who that character looks like. Let me know who that character looks like right there. She looks like someone we've all seen. I think that was the end of the ten pulls. It was. Oh my goodness, man. Oh my goodness. Oh. That was intense. That was intense. Guys, we can also do something crazy right now. Check this out. We can buy ourselves a pack. And why don't we get a demon heroin pack at the end of the day? Just from that initial summon session. We got another SSR coming. Let's open this backpack up. And let's get ourselves some crazy, crazy units. We get we, we get random SSR ticket A. And by the way, the different the, the letter does not mean the grade you're getting of an SSR unit. It means the pool you're getting it from. So this is going to pull from one of the four from the A pool. And then there's a B pool and a C pool and so on and so on. So we ended up getting someone that I have no idea what she is. Now we get to pick somebody. Oh my goodness, who do we pick? Who do we pick? Guys, if you saw the initial video, you already know why I'm picking this one. If you didn't see the initial video, you have no idea. But that one's for you guys that uh, that actually do remember that video. And now we get one final pick of the litter, man. Who do we pick out of this one? Who do we pick? We can get another Giselle, but I kind of want a new unit that I don't have already. We got Alice as well, didn't we? Let's go ahead and Berlin is the uh, the weird like Christmas girl. Did we get Emma? Do, did we get Emma? Do we? Already, I don't recognize this girl, and she got uh, she got personality. What does she do? You know what? Screw it. Let's get her, man. Let's get her. I'm cool with it. I'm very cool with it. We got her. I think. Did we get her? Did we get her? I don't know, man. Okay, there we go. There we. Go. Okay, thank God. I got scared for a second that I might have messed up. We are good to go, and that's that. Let's take a look at those new units that we just pulled. Let's 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 go into the heroin real quick and take a look at these units. Uh, we got. Jazelle in the house is one of the new ones we just pulled. Uh, where do we go into actually? I mean, you can see her art right there. That's what she looks like. Beautiful, beautiful unit. Uh, we got, who else did we get out of that? We got Alice in the house. Yes, she's Alice in Wonderland. If you were curious. And yes, she has the Cheshire Cat. And yes, she was actually overpowered back in the day. She nuked like nobody else. And if you saw her, you were terrified. Uh, where's this last girl we just pulled? We got Emma in the house. I have no idea what she does. She got personality. She got the big old gothic ball gown. I'm a fan of it. That's it for this one, guys. If you liked it, go ahead and click that like button. I loved making this video. I'm so excited that this game is out. You have no idea. I just, oh my god. This is a trip down memory lane. This started the channel, bro. And we back in full force. Thank you so much for watching. Oh my god. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.